In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can do logic regression in Excel. As we know that Excel has an add-in called data analysis, but when you go through these all options here, you could not find the logic regression option. So that means that we need to use some third-party add-ins to do the analysis. In order to do that, the first option I'm going to show you is using the called X our minor so i'm going to post this file that have uh, have all the link and the stats so you can read through that if you want one thing i want to mention is that i do not own either of the add-ins so um please uh, review all the related the website and information before deciding to using either of them so the first one is called called XL minor. In order to do that, so you go to Excel, you can go to the file and then click the get add in. In the pop window, you can type the SLMIMER and click search and then hit the. So this is the this one we're going to use and hit the add. And then you click, click the I agree and then click continue. And then they that's windows pull the, the right hand side and then you click the logic regression and then the y range is this is the dependent variable yes and the x we have two x variable here and the label click it means that the first row is the variable name and then the output range we can select any cell here so the output will appear in this area so click ok and this is the output. Um, so it has a p-value. So it also have the estimated uh, regression coefficient. So I think this is for the first add-in. So this add-in, it seems that it can be used in both the PC and Mac. It can also be used in the Google series. Another add-in called regressic and it seems that this can be only used in Windows only. This is the first step is to download it. Uh, so it seems that this is not in the, in, you cannot really search directly in, in the app, in, you need to download it. You click this website, you'll go to this page. And you can click this to download it. I already download it, so I'm not going to do it again. But you can download it. How to download it, you can right click and then unblock it. I mean, you the file and then unblock it and click OK and then you double click out the unblock it double click it has a pop-up window so you need to click the enable the macros so after you done all these steps you will see a regress it add in here and it has logic regression and so one thing though before doing click this you need to select the data it seems that Otherwise, that will be error here. So that's my the way I do that. Maybe you have other way to do that, but that's the way I do that. So select all the data, and then create names, and then okay. Sometimes it doesn't check, but you can check the top row. So it means that the first row is the variable name. So click OK, and then click the logic regression. Okay, so. Here is dependent variable, you need to tell them which variable is the dependent variable, which is here for this case. Purchase is the dependent variable, and age and gender is the independent variable. After doing this, I think that's it. We just need to say click run. The result will appear in other pages. So here, as you can see, that the p value for the age 0 0.039, and here the the first add-in we used is also 0 0.0386, so raw is 0 0.039, so they're the same. Another one, the p-value for gender is 0 0.11, and so here is also 0 0.11. So that means that the results across these two add-in are consistent. The request it also has some model summary. Uh, oh, so, so you see some model 7, model 8, exactly the same information. I just, the model 7 is earlier. I I did some practice before I made the recording. So as you can see that. So 
the model, step one model are, are exactly the same. So every time you run it, it will appear as a model here. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'm more than, I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have. Okay, thank you for watching.